If you play games on your PC, chances are you use the Xbox app, but as good as it is, it doesn't always work as expected. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Gandero Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix if the Xbox app on your system isn't quite running properly. So if the Xbox app on your PC isn't opening, one of the first things that we're going to do is repair it. Now to do this, press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and click on installed apps. Now this will open up Windows settings and uh, we'll give it a time to load. All right. So now let's just search for Xbox real quick. You will see the Xbox app show up right here. So we're going to all the way to the other end, click on these three options and then click on advanced options. Now, uh, if you scroll down in the advanced options, you will see a repair and reset option. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously repair the app. So you click on it, you will see a progress bar appear. And this will just check if all the files recorded for the app are there or not, the app is functioning properly. And in most cases, this should fix your problem. However, if it doesn't, you can always go ahead and click the reset button to completely reset the Xbox app and start working. If that doesn't work either, you can try uninstalling the Xbox app and then getting it again from the Microsoft Play Store. Now, uh, just like we found the reset and repair settings in the last uh, section, uninstall settings are right underneath it. So go ahead, click on uninstall. Uh, we know what we're doing, so we'll click on uninstall again. And then once you've done that, you can head over to the Microsoft Store just open this up all right and now we're going to search for the xbox app as you can see this will appear right here and then you can click on the install button right here to install it again on your system and that should in 90 percent of the cases fix your problems if that doesn't work you can try reinstalling the gaming service on your system now to do this we're going to press the start menu and search for command prompt and what we're going to do here is we're going to run it as an administrator well, let me give windows the permissions that it needs all right now uh, in here we are going to enter two commands one at a time so uh, the first command is uh, well, did not copy itself you will find both of these commands linked in the description below so don't worry about it yeah, so the first command uh, finds the Microsoft Gaming Services packages and then removes it for all users. So type in this command and press enter. And when you're done with it, you can go ahead and type in this command to reinstall Gaming Services. As you saw, I accidentally ended up running it when I pasted it and Microsoft Store popped up. So we're all good there. This will launch up the a gaming services page on Microsoft Store. So you can just click the get button there and download it as you should. And uh, that should fix the problem, hopefully. If that doesn't work either, uh, we're going to check for GPU driver updates. Now, depending on whether you have an NVIDIA, AMD or Intel GPU, you're going to have to use the respective utility. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm just going to show you how it gets done on an NVIDIA card. Now, the first thing we're going to do is search for the NVIDIA app, not the NVIDIA control panel. The NVIDIA app, we're going to click on it to launch the app. We'll give it a second to load up. Wow, it's going to update. Nice. So it's also a good idea uh, while we're at the screen to open the app from time to time because sometimes it may need an update and wouldn't quite install unless you launch it. So uh, it's essential for you to make sure the app and the driver both are up to date. Now, what we're going to do is head over to the drivers tab. And as you can see, I have a game ready driver update, which I did not know about because I didn't update the app itself. So keep launching it from uh, time to time. All right. Now that you can see, we have a game ready driver update ready. Uh, we can just go ahead and click on the download button to download this driver for us. Alternatively, make sure that you're using game ready drivers and not the studio driver. The studio driver is optimized for applications like Premiere Pro, Photoshop or uh, whatever creative applications you might be working in. Game ready drivers provide the best gaming experience. So make sure that you're getting the best driver according to your use case. In this case, it's going to be the game ready driver. Make sure that it's up to date and you should be able to fix your problem in no time. 
Last but not least, uh, if you're experiencing problems with a Windows component, it's always a good idea to search for a Windows update, which may be hampering the issue. So we're going to press Windows key plus I to fire up Windows settings. And then we are going to click on Windows update. Now in here, as you can see, my system already checked whether I'm up to date or not. So I don't have to, but just in case, we're going to go ahead and click on check for updates and uh, have it run. And if this brings up any updates whatsoever, make sure you install them, restart your PC and uh, you should be good to go. And the Xbox app on your system should start working properly again. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.